Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another indie horror game. This is Impetum, which I believe is Latin for the word assault or attack. And uh, we're going to be playing as a businessman who is traveling home, but finds when he gets there that things are amiss. So let's begin. Hey, I'm on my way home. I'll be there in a couple hours. What are we doing with our little boy? Everything okay? I've missed you both so much. I'm looking forward to seeing you. Ah, the AI voiceover. I'm looking very forward to seeing you. Finally. Welcome home. Ah, here we are. Right, there's my bags. A suitcase? Hmm, that's odd. That's not my suitcase. Why is it? What? Okay, is that? Is is my wife leaving me? Has she left me? Got some shopping bags over here, and some very minimalistic modern art on the walls here. Oh yeah, look at look at all this. I can't seem to run. Don't have an inventory, and it's very dark. A lot of dead space over here in the old homestead. First, I'm going to take the purchases to the kitchen. The purchases. What have I purchased? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. What the fuck happened here? Hmm. Well. Do I do I get the bag or do I already have the purchases on my person? Let's find out. Uh what's this? Little kitty cat? All rolled up. And uh some more questionable art. Oh no. Oh no, it's one of those homes. Oh no. Live, laugh, love. Okay, what are we putting something in the fridge here? Oh, we got a letter. <sighs> Darling, I just wanted to let you know that my friend Martha is here to visit. I know you don't like her very much, so please be nice to her. She's only staying with us for a few days. Okay. The wife has definitely set me up for a trap here. Think about it. Oh no. It's Martha again. <laughs> I hate her. If Martha was coming to stay, why would the wife leave a note up in plain view saying... <laughs> I know you hate her. Why do we hate Martha so much? What has Martha done to us? Wow. We really hate Martha. You got a little uh, boombox there. The house looks very modernistic. I've got to say that. Um, we open the fridge? Yes, we can. It's the darkest fridge. It to all no, it's the darkest fridge known to all mankind. Wow, power's out then. Is that what we're saying? And we have a very dark corner over here. So this is the living room. It's just the table, and then oh, I see. You've got an area over here where there's a TV, but can't really see much. It's very dark. Okay, so we've established that. The wife and the son aren't here, that perhaps they were packing to leave. There's some blood in the bathroom, but it's by the toilet and the sink. So maybe someone had a bit of an anal prolapse. That's what I'm thinking. Anal prolapsing. And then... Oh, I suppose we're going upstairs. Finished downstairs. Have I not? What was I meant to do? The purchases are these. These look like bags that next level, next level style. Am I take? I can't seem to take those into the kitchen. I'm thinking there's something else I had to do in the kitchen. Do I have to feed the cat? I mean, the cat's not really caring that I'm back home. I don't know how long I've been away. Oh no, Martha's here. God damn that, Martha. Ah, there we go. The purchases. We've put them down. Alright. I gotta remember to put the money in the safe. 
The money in the safe. Okay. Does that mean we're done downstairs in the kitchen? I think so. All right. But I'm walking so slowly. Is the safe upstairs? Can I go upstairs now? Or have I... Can I find out? No, I can go upstairs now. He's not pro... Oh. The fuck? God damn it. Get some better pictures in your house, my man. It's too early for me to go to bed. I have other things to do. Like finding your wife and child, perhaps. Ah, this must be my room. I know this is my room because all it has is pictures of supercars. Yes, we love the supercars. Not compensating for anything. Uh, right, what do we have here? Is this the safe? The code lock from the safe. I can't remember the code. How can you not remember the code? How long have I been away? Maybe that's why my wife is leaving. Take a look around. Better sit down. Okay. No? Would I have it on my computer? Or do we mean oh you mean here? Okay. Let's take a breather. Let's remember the code to our save. Something I think you remember. Ah, uh, I see, I see in the picture. You've got a three. Why can't I see that when I'm standing up? Have I <laughs> have I sketched these numbers in so discreetly? Three, seven. Oh. Martha? Is that you? Why are you why are you hiding around the corner, Martha? Come and say hello at least. Apparently I hate you for some reason. I don't know. Uh oh, I didn't actually see if was that the three seven nine. Three seven nine. Okay. Three seven nine. A three digit you can't remember a three digit code, my man. Okay. Alright then. <laughs> Aesthetically, this game looks fine. Three, seven, nine. We already had our little puzzle where the the, <laughs> the letters were etched onto the paintings, maybe? Don't know. So where do I have the money on me? Oh no, right, so the safe's oh right, so the safe's unlocked now. I thought that was like a wall safe. I see. Right, so Putting the money away. Uh oh. Martha must have put it on. God damn it, Martha. Check it out. This better not be copyrighted music. Oh. There's a an anic up there. Well the boombox was in the kitchen, right? So she's back in the kitchen. Why is she hiding away from me? Where's my wife and son? Why, why is Martha doing why are you doing this to me, Martha? Because I hate you, I know, but I don't know the reason why I hate you yet. Oh, there you are. Oh. What the hell was that? Noise in the bedroom? Why is she playing hide and seek with me? Yeah, aesthetically, it looks good. The sound design is quite well done. The foley work is good. Apart from the AI voice. That is the, um, the only kind of problem here. It kind of does take you out of the immersion. Even if uh, the dev didn't have access to voice actors, did it yourself, like, there'd just be a bit more humanity to it, I guess, is the word. Oh. It sounds like someone's walking towards me. Someone walking towards me? Alright, we have the charge room. Is she is she hiding in the ward? Is she hiding in the cupboard here? Come on out, Martha. No? Locked, apparently. Alright. Jesus. We're the most like vanilla family in the world. Who has a picture like that over their bed? Psychopaths. That's who. And uh, a cookbook. Not really much in the bedroom. Um, right, let's go check. This is the son's room, I'm guessing, right? Wow, and all that AI art. Look at it. Yeah, Shark Man. Is that meant to be like the Flash? Can't go any further. Oh, I can. There's something. Oh, cars. Are we sitting down again? Oh, there's another puzzle time. Are He's there more? Monsters again. I'll have to talk to him. He's playing monsters oh, again. And this toy bus is the first time I've seen it. Oh, hi, Martha again. You. 
you've enraged the kitty cat. You just stare, gonna stand there and stare at me and not say hi? Am I not gonna say anything? Well, the cat doesn't seem to like you, and I don't like you, but for reasons unknown. We'll find out soon, Martha. And what was he saying about the school bus? Is the first time I've ever seen a school bus? Right? Does that mean there's something with the school bus? Am I meant to be doing something with the school bus? Is that for a puzzle later on? Has Martha given him the gift of a school bus and I don't like it? He's playing with monsters again. And now, all right, kitty cat, can I pet you? You're doing a good job. Oh, and a flashlight. Right, of course. Now I can go up to the attic. Why do I want to go up to the attic? <laughs> what? what? Why would I be going up to the attic? I put the money away. My my wife and son are clearly not home, yet some mysterious woman who I hate is just lurking around the place. <laughs> Okay, did something happen? I missed it. Right. I like that though, the little sound effect of literally crouching. You get to a certain age and uh, things just um, don't work anymore. Make all Do I have to sit down on the couch in the attic? There doesn't seem to be anything around here. Something happened, but whether it was behind me or not, I don't know. <laughs> Ugh. God damn these knees. My god damn knees. Oh, there was a thing there before, right? And now we... Martha. Martha. I'm sorry that my wife put up a note that you clearly read. You see me. Well, yeah, you just... Because you just... At this point, if this was real, you'd be going, What the hell is going on, Martha? How are you doing this magic performing act where you're disappearing? Was... what was so... Okay. Kitty cats, alright. I do have a flashlight now, so maybe I can... TV? Martha at this point is just being a bit of a nuisance. She's just going around, turning on the radio, turning on the TV, turning on the kettle. Did you use my coffee? I gotta find Martha. Martha. Reminds me of um, Batman vs Superman. Why did you say that name? Martha! Oh, now the door's closed. She do closed the door on me. She's just been a little bit irritating. And I kind of want to know the reason why. Oh. Okay, then. I'm assuming, and this is going to be a massive assumption, that the businessman has been up to some some affairs while he's been on his business trip. Why does he hate Martha? I the running thing throughout all of this is like, why does he why do I hate Martha so much? We're never we're never <laughs> we're never given any kind of reasoning behind that. Um, it's just that it's a friend of his wife who also appears to be a demon. Is that why we hate her? Because we, we can smell the sulfur emanating from her skin when she comes round for a cup of tea. And um, she didn't really <laughs> she didn't really seem to do much. She was just kind of being mischievous, you know. She put on the radio, she boiled the kettle for us, she was like sneaking around corners, just going, Oh, yeah, I am, come and find me. And uh, yeah, she just hulked out at the end there. Um, where were the wife and son? With their bags packed because they were planning to leave me and Martha stopped them? Uh, who knows? The ending was quite abrupt um, with the with the Martha monster turning around onto us. Um, but yeah, 
Uh, the aesthetic seemed really nice. Um, I would I would maybe implement just walking a little bit faster. There didn't seem to be a kind of sprint button or there didn't seem to be any kind of way just to move a bit faster. Um, there was one puzzle with the code where we sat down and s saw the letters in the paintings. But yeah, yeah, it kind of did feel like there's a lot of things missing from this. Um, that's not to say it's not bad. It's It's got a good atmosphere to it. The sound work is quite good. It's just that kind of thing of um, didn't really feel potentially scary or didn't give me any kind of feeling of foreboding. But um, this is just a demo, so I'm hoping to be proven wrong when the full release comes out. Anyway, guys, let me know what you thought in the comments below. Like or dislike the video. And if you haven't already, please sub. Otherwise, you will have an extra reason to hate Martha. Stay ghoulish. Bye.